starting at $149,995. The new Vantage picks it up where the previous V12S had left off. With a 503 horsepower AMG sourced V8, a manual option further down the line, and plenty of space left for Aston's new V12. This weekend, Aston Martin's number 98 Vantage race car secured the championship in the GDEM class, which makes us even more eager to see the brand's next generation endurance machine spread its wings. But before that could happen, Andy Palmer's team had to unleash the version with the strongly pronounced upswept rear deck lid instead. Meet the new Aston Martin Vantage, the company's sharpest knife in the drawer. Aston describes the new design as James Bond's decibels a tent enhanced by the menacing stance of a Vulcan. Mr. Palmer sums it up as the brand's hunter, the car with its nose on the ground. What Aston had to hold back on its grand Turing decibels 11 was put into this model, resulting in a huge uptail, and even larger grille, heavy venting on the side, and a carbon roof. Thanks to its aggressive front splitter and complex rear diffuser, it's also the first production Aston Martin to generate downforce, resulting in much improved stability at high speeds without active aero, that saves weight and cargo space. With the 4.0 twin turbo V8 branding at 503 horsepower and 505 pound speed of toward, the new Vantage is a 195 miles per hour car that can get to 60 in 3.6 seconds. Roughly a year from launch, you will also be able to challenge the 8-speed DF automatics figures by choosing the 7-speed manual instead, coming from Italy's Paziano. And it just might have the dog-leg pattern of the last V12 Vantage S in terms of size, the new Vantage is 36mm shorter than a Porsche 911, yet not as white as an AMG GT at 2153mm with the mirrors. Thanks to its bonded aluminum construction, it weighs 33.73 pounds dry, with a 50 over 50 weight distribution and the engine pushed as low and far back into the chassis as possible. The cooling for the V8 didn't require air vents on the hood either, resulting in a sleeker look. Fasten says that while the body in white is lighter and significantly stiffer thanks partly to the fact that the road car is designed with the GD program in mind they have also improved build quality, especially when it comes to panel gaps and surface finishes. About 70% of the parts are new, with the only exterior that's shared with the decibels 11 being the door handles and the badges, 